Hello and welcome to another Stampin' Society tutorial. My name is Charlotte Mallet. You can find me at uh, paintedorange.com or on iHeart Stamps on Instagram. This month for Stampin' Society, we are showing you beautiful cards using the gorgeous leaves bundle. This stamp set and dies. The stamp set, you'll notice, doesn't have any greetings. So I also pulled in a couple of greetings from the Inspired Thoughts stamp set. Here are the two cards for this month's tutorial. We're going to do a video tutorial on how this card came to be, and then written instructions for this card can be found on my blog. All right, let's get started. First, we're going to create this fun background. We're going to create our own multicolored ink pad using wet baby wipes. You just want a container to put them in. Cinnamon Cider, Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Pumpkin Pie, and Just Jade. Those are the colors we're going to use. What we want to do is just add the ink to kind of create a place to stamp. So we'll use a little Pumpkin Pie right here, or a little uh, Cinnamon Cider, a little Bumblebee, some Calypso Coral. I think I'm going to use a fair amount of that because I like that as like the primary color. And the same thing with this uh, pumpkin pie. Good amount of that. And then some uh, Just Jade here. Now we're going to get a little inky. We're going to... Um, ink up some stamps using stamps from Gorgeous Leaves. And you would treat this just like you would treat a regular stamp pad. So for example, on this one, we're just gonna pick up some color, see what's happened here. And there's kind of um, some areas in between that don't have full color, but I still think that those are gonna be pretty good. So we've blended the colors there. And I'll show you how it stamps on just a sheet of uh, Whisper White. Isn't that fun? So we'll ink that a couple times. We'll create a whole background using this one leaf. I'm going to move this over here. Let's turn this a little bit and get some more leaf. This one... Um, is not picking up much of that green, which is totally fine. This is a fun uh, color combo. Looking good. That's pretty. All right, let's try that again. Um, this time we'll do it on watercolor paper. We're just gonna slightly dampen this paper. Not a lot, just a little. We'll let it dry, just so that the ink kind of bleeds a bit. We're gonna take the uh, maple leaf here and we're gonna ink it up in those four colors there, getting them to blend. And then we're gonna take the outside and stamp it a little bit in that just jade. I like that, maybe the edge there. So the leaf really looks like it's been turned. And we'll stamp one. Oh yeah. Um, let's get a little more. 
and two. Ooh, that's very pretty. All right, so we've mounted up. Thank you so much. Thinking of you on your special day and congratulations because I'm not quite sure which one we're going to want to use and we might use a bunch of them. Uh, mount it all on one block just to save a step. Got a little piece of cinnamon cider here. We're just going to uh, use our embossing buddy or a dryer sheet, whatever you've got to remove the static from that paper. Then we are going to stamp ink up in Versamark. And we're going to stamp it a couple times because if we're going to go through the effort of embossing one, might as well emboss a couple and have some on hand. Perfect. Now we will get some white emboss powder. Just going to sprinkle some on to these greetings. Shake it off like so, and then we will heat set. Great, there we go. Three greetings we can choose from. Let's cut out a congratulations. Save the others for later. We'll flag it right here. That looks good. That congratulations measures approximately three by a quarter inch. We're going to die cut a bunch of leaves from the intricate leaf die using the intricate leaf dies uh, using uh, gold foil cardstock. We're going to cut all the leaves, even though we won't use them all. I figured it's the same amount of time and labor to line them all up and cut them. So we'll go through and remove all the negative shapes and then we'll have them for our cards. The gold looks so good with the cinnamon cider and looks great with this colored background. So we'll start to assemble our card, maybe even pull in gold leaf here or there. Think it's going to look nice. So let's figure out how to assemble it. And let's trim this down to a smaller size. Actually, probably chopping in half so that we can use it for two cards. By chopping in half, this is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. So this was five and a half originally. Chop it in half and there's the piece that we'll use for our card. We're going to mount that piece onto gold. So we have just a little halo of the gold around the outside of it. I'm looking for just an eighth of an inch. So just a little bit of a hint of gold popping up all the way around. So the outside of that measures four and three eighths by two and seven eighths, if you want exact measurements. And then we're gonna mount that to this piece of gold. Very pretty. And then let's pull in some of these leaves. And I think that's going to look good somewhat like that with our congratulations, perhaps in this area. We'll see. Let's also add some linen thread. Trim that out and we'll wrap this up. in a circle and let's just tack that down right there using a glue dot. So we'll grab a glue dot first, put that there. All right, we'll take two fingers, we'll spread them apart a little bit, wrap that around two to three times and this will be where we tack it down like so. Kind of a messy loop. That looks good. Then we'll add in some more glue dots to tack these down. All 
add them to the back of the leaves. And put this first leaf thereabouts nestling into some of that white space so that we get the most contrast behind that leaf. Let's determine where we want this congratulations before we put this other leaf down. I think the congratulations looks pretty good right there. So I think this other leaf will maybe nestle right in there. That's typically how I lay out cards. I start to play with elements, see where I think they look the best. There's no right or wrong answer on where you want to put them. I mean, the leaf could look good pretty much anywhere, but we're going to put it right there. Very good. And then we'll pop the congratulations up using some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to chop them in half because I don't need as many, or and I don't need it to be as thick as what's happening on the back side here. Pick that one up. Pick that one up. There's two. And then we'll arrange that there. That looks nice. Congratulations. Now let's figure out what card base to put that on. I think it'll look good on this Just Jade, even though there's not any in there. It looks uh, complimentary, but we're going to add some uh, texture to that. We'll use the Timber 3D embossing folder and add some texture to this layer here. We've got that subtle embossing of the timber pattern. We're going to mount this Just Jade to our card base. This has been pre-scored. So let's fold it and adhere this down here. We're going to take that edge to edge and mount that onto the card base like so. And then I think this will look good popped up with some dimensionals. So we'll put some dimensionals on the back of it and pop that up there. And we'll center that top to bottom, left to right. Just like so. Very pretty. Maybe we could even add a little bit more gold bling Perhaps the uh, champagne rhinestones, because we've got this uh, cinnamon cider, that might look good with the, with the metallic. We'll just use a couple of these little ones here. One in there. There we go. Very pretty card.